La verdad sí, también me parece una historia muy, muy fuerte haber escrito una historia en 33 días en un auto y que tu mujer se muera dos, medio trágico también, ¿no? medio, como algo muy lindo pero muy triste a la vez. ¿Podrías pero, hacer con tu amor? No sé si yo lo hubiese podría haber hecho. No soy tan romántico. This is the story of a famous writer and his young wife embarking on this amazing adventure during the last years of their life. And really, it, it all starts with Carol Dunlop. And Carol's this, you know, young woman who's been a bit of a rebel all her life. She grew up in this military family in Boston, but as soon as she could, she took off and she moved to Montreal, which was the least North American city she could find. She was this guitar-strumming, anti-war hippie. years later she's at this dinner party after this literary conference and it's there that she meets Julio Cortazar and now in the 1970s Cortazar is one of the world's most important probably well-known writers he was Argentine living in Paris and he wrote Hopscotch which fundamentally changed the face of the novel so she meets Cortazar at this party and they just fall in love instantly in the next few months, Carol's hopping on a plane, leaving behind her life, her son in Montreal, to be in Paris and uh, pursue her dream and this passion that she's had with her all her life, and to be with her love, Cortazar. Julio was certainly not conventional, so again there, my mother probably found in those things uh, at the right time, the answer to her questions about the U.S., her past, her childhood, her family, uh, Julio represented the other side. But, I mean, it's not a love that's going to last forever. And uh, what happens is they both, they both get really sick with some disease, which is still mysterious to this day. And the doctors say that they only have a few, few years left to live. So now this is where the story gets really amazing because when they were both dying, they decided to embark on this incredible road trip, which is absurd and unlike any road trip you've ever heard of. The plan was they were going to take their VW camper van, which they lovingly called Fafner or the Dragon, and pack them up with their typewriters and their wine and camera and they're gonna drive from Paris to Marseille. This is usually a 10 hour drive if you did it straight but they're gonna do it in 33 days. They're gonna stop at every single rest stop along the way and treat it like this exploration of a new world. So they do this trip and, and they write this beautiful book and it, two months after they finish the journey, Carol dies. And Julio, of course, he's heartbroken, he's deep in sorrow, and he never writes fiction again. He, uh, he's able to finish the book and get it published, and then about a year later, he dies too. <laughs> 